We are right now seeing a huge spike in valley fever cases, now the most common non-COVID infectious disease in all of Arizona. Yeah, you know, some people don't even notice the symptoms they have while it is debilitating, even deadly for others. But they are making some progress on a vaccine. Sarah Robinson is in our, new, in our newsroom tonight with an update from researchers today, Sarah. Yes, well, researchers from NAU and another university have teamed up to create a vaccine for Valley Fever with a grant from the NIH. Thanks to the COVID vaccine, they say they have a head start. It would be a game changer, right, for a lot of people. A new joint research effort between Northern Arizona University and the University of Washington is aiming to create a vaccine for Valley Fever. People will don't really get cured for the current treatments that we have. Dr. Bridget Marie Barker with the Pathogen and Microbiome Institute at NAU says the disease is caused by a desert fungus getting kicked up in the air. The infection starts in the lungs and causes severe illness and even death in humans and pets alike. It can disseminate. So that means it moves from the lung, which is the primary you know, target of infection. It can move beyond the lungs to other tissues and it can kind of move to any tissue in the body. Uh, the most extreme is to go to the brain. Right now, there are no vaccines for any fungal infection. So if they succeed, epidemiologist Dr. Deborah Fuller at UW says they could help not just valley fever, but other infections as well. The nice things about DNA and RNA vaccines that we develop is that we can very effectively customize these types of vaccines to uh, skew an immune response or design the immune response in a way that's going to very closely replicate what we exactly need to, to provide protection. This summer, the team received a $1.5 million grant from the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases and could earn much more. It's a five-year project, um, so we kind of have to prove that we're making progress for each year. Many vaccines take years to create, but with the mRNA vaccine groundwork from the COVID vaccines, this team is confident their goal can be achieved. I'm actually really hopeful that, that by the end of this five years, we will have a candidate vaccine that would be ready for clinical trial. On average, about 200 people a year die from valley fever in Arizona, and often it takes multiple doctor visits before getting the right diagnosis. These researchers are hoping to expand testing efforts and educate on symptoms as well. Live in the newsroom, Sarah Robinson, back to you.